Hey guys, it's Leah from Fourth Wall. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your very own YouTube merch shelf. Having YouTube merch shelf set up is awesome because you can display your products right underneath your YouTube videos and easily link to your products in your description. So let's get started. Now in order to set up your YouTube merch shelf, there are some requirements you'll need to meet with YouTube, which we'll link in our description below, but I'll give you a brief overview of them right now. First off, you'll need to be based in a country where the YouTube Partner Program is available and also be approved for monetization. You'll also need more than a thousand subscribers and to have your channel not selected as made for kids and to make sure you don't have too many videos that are set as made for kids. Your channel can also not have a significant number of videos that violate YouTube's monetization policies or have any strikes for hateful speech. Now to set up your YouTube merch shelf, you'll have to have your store and products created using a merch provider that has the YouTube merch shelf capability. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can get it set up with Fourth Wall. If you're not familiar with Fourth Wall, Fourth Wall is a homepage shops and memberships platform built for creators with hundreds of retail quality products to choose from. In this video, you can see that we're gonna make it super easy for you to create products and add them to your YouTube merch shelf. To start, go to your fourth wall dashboard, and from here you'll go to Shop Settings, Apps, YouTube Merch Shelf, and then hit Configure. From here you'll go ahead and connect the correct Google account that's linked to your YouTube. It'll ask you to allow fourth wall to view your YouTube account, just click Allow to continue, and then you'll be taken back to the YouTube Merch Shelf configuration screen. There you'll be able to see if your YouTube channel is linked to your fourth wall shop, and if your Merch Shelf is not yet connected, it'll show a pending status. Just so you know, Google takes about 24 hours to approve your products on the YouTube Merch Shelf. This will be the case anytime you update or add a new product. You can check if your products have been approved at any time by going back to fourth wall's YouTube Merch Shelf configuration screen, and from there you'll be able to see the status of each product. Here you'll be able to see your approved, pending, or rejected products. If any products have been rejected, you can see the reason by clicking details in the rejected section. Once you have at least one item approved, you can continue to the next step. Once your channel's connected and Google's review is complete, you'll see that your YouTube Merch Shelf is connected in the configuration screen. Now, you'll just need to add your shop in YouTube Studio. After you're signed into YouTube Studio, go to the monetization tab. From there, you'll go to the shopping tab. If there are any existing products here from another platform, you'll need to remove them before you can connect your fourth wall shop. Next, you'll choose the connect store option, select fourth wall and continue. Now you should be able to see a list of products in your fourth wall store. If your products are still in review, you can see that here. I suggest selecting all the products you want to feature manually because this will have a faster turnaround. If you want to connect another YouTube channel to your shop, go back to your YouTube merch shelf configuration screen and click connect another channel. After you do this, it'll be the same steps we already followed. Setting up a YouTube merch shelf is a great idea if you're a YouTube creator because you can display all your products below your videos and make it super easy for your viewers to see and shop directly from your channel. If you'd like some more details or step-by-step -step instructions, I've linked our Help Center article in our description as well. Thanks so much for tuning in and stay tuned for some more creator tips with Fourth Wall. See ya.